Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the show. Today, we're going to talk about texting. Now, while it's not necessarily the best form of communication, it's the most convenient, the safest, and the easiest way to connect with somebody, especially someone new. If you're dating and not texting, you're missing out on some of your best opportunities to flirt and create connection. And if you are texting, but you're not good at it, then you're probably closing a lot of doors that you could be opening otherwise. Texting is one of the best tools you have to get new dates and to create connection and intrigue between dates. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the video, make sure to hit that bell, you'll get notified each week when our new videos are released. Thank you for watching, I'm Shane Kohler and let's go ahead and get started. The worst text message you could possibly send to somebody is, hey, what are you up to? What you're basically saying is, I don't have much going on. Why don't you tell me what you're up to? Why don't you entertain me? Especially today when everybody's using dating apps and people are constantly getting messages like, hey there, and what's up? The only person who would likely respond to a message like that is somebody who doesn't have a lot going on. So when you're texting someone, you have to say things that pique their curiosity, that build intrigue, that create an interest in you, that differentiate you from everybody else who might be texting them. People want to talk to people that they feel better about after speaking with them. People want to talk to people that bring value to the conversation. So lead with value. Say something positive. Say something that makes them smile. Ask a silly question. Create some kind of intrigue. People like to be around happy people. So be positive in your messages. Make them smile when you send them and leave them with the experience of feeling like, I really like talking to this person. You have to lead with being interesting because when people are dating, they're thinking about it like, what's in it for me? What is this interaction going to give to me? So you have to start with something that's going to make you stand out, that's going to set you apart, and that's going to make them think that you bring value to their lives, that them talking to you is going to add value to their lives. But people who only know how to be interesting quickly get very boring. You have to, at some point, move from being interesting to being interested. But you can't start with being interested because if you start your first, first time you ever message somebody, if you start with, so tell me about yourself, they're probably not gonna wanna tell you about themselves. They're gonna think, who are you that I should tell, my, tell you about myself? Who are you that I should share myself with? They don't have anything to go on yet. So you have to start with being interesting and then move to being interested. Let's say it's the first time you ever messaged somebody. Maybe let's say you met them on a dating app and it's your first message. It has to be interesting. It has to stand out. If you say, hey, what's up? They're probably going to ignore you like they did all the other people who said, hey, what's up? So you have to start with something that makes them excited about responding to you. This would be a great first message. Let's say that you were looking at their profile and they had a picture of them on a jet ski. You might say something like, I love jet skiing. I went to the Bahamas last summer. I spent the entire vacation on the water. It's one of my favorite things to do. Where was that picture taken? You see, what you did there, first you became interesting by establishing a common connection with that person. You're bringing something to the conversation. You're giving the conversation a place to start. You're not just, hey, what's up? You start the conversation. You're already starting the conversation. You're bringing a common interest that you can connect about, and then you're asking a question. So you start with being interesting, and then you move to being interested. Where was that picture taken? You've made it very easy for them to step right into this conversation. If they like to jet ski, now you've just established something that they can talk about that they're interested in that gets them excited. And the more you get to know somebody, the more you speak with them, you want to become less and less about being interesting and more and more about being interested. Most people really do want to talk about themselves. And so you ask 
questions and you share common interests. And when you find out something that they like that you can speak into, you share about that. And then they share back with you about it and you start to understand them and learn them. Now you have a relationship. The more someone shares with you, the more they start to feel like they're a part of something, the more they start to feel like the two of you have something together. And that's gonna make them want to continue to create the connection. So you wanna generate sharing in them. That creates trust. That creates a sense of a relationship. You want them to start to feel like a relationship is being formed between the two of you. The next thing you have to do when you're texting somebody is to be consistent with them. Now this goes against a lot of what we've been taught because we've been taught that you should send a text message and then make them wait for your response. But this is actually the most annoying thing that you can do to somebody when you're dating them. There's nothing more frustrating than dating someone, starting to text them, you get into a conversation, and then they go MIA. And anybody with an ounce of dignity is not going to deal with you for very long if you do that. Anybody with an ounce of self-respect is going to recognize that this person really isn't that interested in me. And I don't, I'm not going to waste my time with somebody who's not interested. Yes, there are a lot of people out there that like to play games and they want to make you wait around and they want to make you jump through hoops. And we've been taught that that's how you're supposed to be. But that is so wrong. And if somebody does that to you, you need to recognize very quickly that this person is not looking for what you're looking for. Because people who really want a relationship, they don't have time for stupid games. They're gonna bring themselves to the relationship. They're gonna see if somebody shows up for them. If somebody doesn't, they're gonna move on. You don't have to worry about putting yourself out there and being consistent with someone and having them not return that. If they don't return that, you just simply move on and you create relationships with the people who will be consistent. After a first date with someone, you should absolutely text them the following morning and say, I had a great time last night, thank you. Or something like that, say something. Don't cut the relationship off once it's getting started. Keep going into it. After you've had a relationship for a while, whether you've been dating a little bit or whether it's only through text message, but after you've been in relationship with each other for a little while, don't be afraid to send a text message and say, hey, good morning, just wanted to say hi, hope you have an awesome day. Don't be afraid to send them messages that let them know that you're interested in furthering this relationship. They will let you know if they feel the same way based on how they respond. As long as they are consistent, you should be consistent also. Unless, of course, you're actually not interested in the relationship. In that instance, you would actually, the best thing to do would be to just say, hey, I've appreciated talking with you and I don't really want to take this any further. And the fourth rule of texting, and this one is so important, this one will save you years of dating if you, if you do this well, is that you have to set your expectations, set your boundaries, and communicate that through the way that you text with people. One of the greatest things about a text message is you have the opportunity to think it out before you send it. Whereas when you're in conversation, you just say what comes up. You can actually think very clearly about the message that you want to communicate to them and design your message to communicate that very specifically. This does two things. One, it makes you very interesting. It makes somebody say, wow, this is a quality person. Maybe I should really pay attention to them. So that's the first thing it does. The second thing it does is it teaches them how to treat you. And by communicating to them how they should treat you, it's very easy for you to watch and see, are they treating me the way I'm asking? And if they're not, then it's very easy for you to make the call that, okay, this isn't somebody that I want to spend a lot of time with. So let me give you an example of how this looks. Somebody might reach out to you and they might say, hey, would you like to meet up this weekend? Maybe you've been texting and they say, so I'd like to get together. You know, could we see each other this weekend? And you say, yeah, I'd love to. That would be really nice. And then maybe they say something back like, okay, I'll check in with you on Friday. And it's Tuesday. 
that would be your perfect opportunity to draw a really clear line right here and let them know what you expect from them. So you might respond with something like, well, if you wait until Friday, I'm probably not going to be available because I'm not just going to wait around and hope that you reach out. But if you want to take me out Saturday night, I'm available. How does that sound? What you've done is you've just told them exactly how you expect to be treated. I don't want you to wait until the weekend and just, if you have nothing better to do, call me. I want you to commit. Are, are you going to commit your Saturday night to me? If not, that's fine, but I'm going to find somebody who will, or I'm going to make other plans with my Saturday night. I'm not just going to wait around and hope that you decide to take me out. You see, from the moment you meet someone, from the moment that you start speaking with someone, you are telling them exactly how you want them to treat you. You are telling them exactly what you expect in the relationship. And if you get really good at this, what will start to happen is you'll start to see there are people who honor that and appreciate that, and there are people who don't. You teach people how to treat you. And if you're intentional about the way that you text them, you will do this in a very powerful way from the moment you start communicating with them. There's no way around it. In today's world, you're going to text while you're dating. This is your opportunity to get their attention, to create connection, to create intrigue, to start to open up the relationship, to create conversation with them, to create relationship with them in a completely safe and completely harmless environment. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please share it with someone that it might be helpful to. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We have new videos coming out every other Friday. Uh, really excited to bring this content to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put a link below where you can subscribe to a free membership where we're going to be sending you videos, uh, blog articles, and a lot more related content to support you in having incredible relationships. So make sure you subscribe to that email list below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing weekend and we'll see you here in a couple weeks.